Erufai School, Aisha Buhari, the star girl, Abiyokuta outburst, how Tunembo secured his landslide victory. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. As projected by the cable, Bola Ahmed Tunembo Former governor of Lagos State defeated all comers to win the presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress (APC) at the Igbo Square, Abuja, on Wednesday. He polled 1,271 votes to defeat 13 other presidential hopefuls, with Rotimi Amechi, former minister of transportation, coming a very distant second after scoring. 316 votes. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo got 235 votes, while Senate President Ahmed Lawan, the consensus candidate of Abdullahi Adamu, or Progressive Congress National Chairman, polled 152. How did Zimbabwe pull such a convincing victory? Far behind what the most generous pundits predicted. A common retort on social media is the role played by the money, but as the table reveals below, there was more to the landslide than that. Number one, the Abiyokuta outburst. In a fire spitting address to Southwest delegate five days to the All Progressive Congress Convention, Tinembu recounted how he helped President Muhammad Buhari win in 2015. He said Buhari had given up and cried on national television after failing thrice in his quest to be elected president. Tenempo recounted, but I went to his home in Kaduna. I told him you would contest and win, but you will not joke with the matter of the Yoruba. He insisted in Abiyokuta that it is the turn of the Yoruba to produce the president, and, it in, and in Yoruba land it is my turn. The outburst enraged his opponents and even some in Buhari's inner circle. Even Adamo, the party chairman, said his utterances would have consequences. He sought to trust to disqualify him. But Buhari did not buy into negative reactions, reportedly because Tunembu, because everything Tunembu said was true. Although Garba Shehu, presidential spokesman, later issued a statement saying it was millions of Nigerians and not Tunembu that made Buhari president, and not that made Buhari president. The president himself is said to have assured Tunembu when both of them met briefly on Saturday night that he would not interfere in the primary. This was after the president's meeting with the aspirant. 2. The coup by Erufai While Buhari was conferring with presidential candidate, Nasser Erufai, the governor of Kaduna State, quickly convened the meeting of 11 Northern All Progressive Congress governors to counter an underground move by some of the parties stalwart to retain power in the north. The meeting persuaded Abubakar Badaro, the governor of Jigawa State, to withdraw from the race and decided to meet with Buhari to inform him the resolve that power must shift to the south in the national interest. However, the cable understand that they were afraid they might be blocked or delayed from having audience with Buhari, so the outcome of the meeting was quickly leaked to the press and the attendance register was attached to make it look like a communic. The message gained immediate mileage in the media. Badaro later said the decisions taken at the meeting, including his withdrawal, were to be presented to Buhari for his consent and that he was against the leak. It was rather too late. Other all progressive governors fell in line apart from Yaya Bell of Kogi State, who remained adamant. Most of the all progressive Congress Northern governors thereafter felt free to work for Tunumbu. Number three, scare the useless people around Buhari. Aisha Buhari, the president's highly political spouse, was a star girl. She played an important role in Tunumbu's victory. After Tenembu's Apio Guta outburst, there were fears that his ambition might have been jeopardized. Although he spoke in Yoruba, it was translated into English in a way that made it look like he was disparaging and ridiculing the president. Buhari was initially upset, according to insiders who spoke with the cable. Adamo wanted Buhari to cage Tenembu because of his utterances. Tenembu also issued a somewhat apologetic statement saying he did not intend to disrespect the president. 
However, the cable was informed that the first lady insisted that Tinubu did not say anything wrong and should keep up the heat to scare the useless people around the president, who we are working against the realization of Tinubu's presidential ambition. The president's wife's position, the cable length, was that a, was that a promise was made to Tinubu before the 2015 presidential election, and Buhari was duty bound to honor his word as a man of integrity. Even if he would not endorse Tinubu, he should not stand in the way or succumb to pressure to support Lawan. She clamped in excitement as Kaede Faimi, the Kede State Governor, announced that he was stepping down for Tinubu at a convention ground. On the day of the convention, Aisha prevented some politicians from having access to her husband at the presentational residence so that he would not be persuaded to change his position to change his position on not imposing any aspirant. Fermi Adesion, a presidential spokesman, has issued a statement that Buhari would not interfere. Aisha distributed the statement through all her social media handles. A picture was circulated on the social media appearing to show her wearing a dress with sustainable emblem. Withdrawals and endorsement. After several failed attempts to get the Southwest to present a candidate, with Vice President Yemi Osibanjo in no mood to step down for his former boss, there were fears that the region votes would be split and this could inadvertently hand over the victory to someone else. Mary, many new people, many people knew Tenbo was going to win if the contest was not manipulated, but there were still fears that nothing governors could be working secretly for a one in order to retain People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the region, has already given its ticket to Abubakar Tiko, former vice president. However, Tenebo's hand was further straightened when candidates from different regions started endorsing him. God's will acquire you from the south-south led the way, but that remained the biggest statement when he stepped down and endorsed Tenebo. There was a feeling of game over as it became clear that the APC Northern Governors, Bello, meant business. Ibukunli Amoshun, senator from Mogun State, also stepped down for Tunumbu. They were previously act rivals. From then on, it was a spate of withdrawals and endorsements. Seven in all for Tunumbu, the direction of the voting was no doubt enhanced there and then. Omo, hmm. at the end of the day, it don't happen, we say it don't happen. We don't need all the story. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.